It's really important that you go and get legal advice about your startup before you start seeing your first customers. One thing to consider before you start picking your structure is the kind of business you'll be running. While I'll take you through some of those structures today, it's really important that you get professional legal and tax advice as those kinds of advice can be the key to running a successful business long term. You need to make sure that you pick a structure that really reflects the aims and goals of your organisation. One of the first questions you'll need to ask yourself is whether you're a profit making company or a not for profit. It's important to remember that even as a social enterprise, unless 100% of your money is going for the not for profit purpose, you will be considered a profit making company. Often, for-profit companies and social enterprises start out as being a sole trader, if there's just one of you, or as a partnership. This is a really simple, easy and inexpensive structure. One really important issue that you need to be aware of is that as a sole trader or a partnership, you are personally responsible and liable for the company's debts and problems. So you need to make sure you have great contracts in place, which limit your liability, and also that you have appropriate insurance for your business. Depending on the size of business you plan on running and how many partners you have, you may want to consider straight away or further down the track actually registering your business as a company. It's important to remember that companies have higher setup costs and a lot more admin work for you as a shareholder or director. The big advantage, however, is that your personal liability is limited to the assets of the company. This means any assets you have personally are protected and separate from the company and reduces your personal risk when running your business. Having a company can also make it a lot easier for you to raise capital. Investors like to see a company structure and they like to see your intellectual property and assets all being owned by that company. In that way, they can invest in the company itself or even purchase the entire company. Whatever path you choose, it's really important to keep your structure simple in the beginning. You don't want to get bogged down in the legals when you should be actually running your startup. If you're a UNSW student or recent alumni, we run an entrepreneur legal centre which offers free legal advice for startups. So come along and see us. Not for profits operate in a different way and you'll hear more about that next episode. We'd love to get your feedback on our series, so please send through your comments, feedback and suggestions. Thank you.